Hello again. Most of you may have heard about the Delta variant COVID surge and that in Cebu, where I'm presently located, we now have patients outside of the hospital lining up to be admitted in the emergency room. One of the common questions that my patients ask is whether Sinovac, which is the most frequently inoculated vaccine among Filipinos, has any protective effect against the Delta variant. So if you like my video, please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you will be updated of any uploads to come. We all know that in the face of the Delta variant, it is best that we should not be alarmed because the vaccines that have been inoculated among Filipinos have been doing what they are designed to do, which is protecting people from getting sick and to be hospitalized and, of course, preventing death. We have to understand it in science and in medicine. There is nothing that is 100% absolute. Therefore, a tiny fraction of vaccinated people will still wind up getting sick. These breakthrough infections after vaccination, unfortunately, are now being reported and sensationalized in the news. Remember, anything that is controversial is actually news. Therefore, if somebody has contracted an infection in spite of vaccination, then it becomes a news. But in reality, this is not news because most of us know from the early days of the vaccine campaign that immunized people can still get COVID-19 infection. Why? Because vaccination is not a 100% protective shield. We have to remember that one of the major reasons why breakthrough infections among vaccinated individuals occur, it's more of the attitudes, the lifestyle, and discipline of our patient population. Many of us have already gone back to work, returning to our daily activities, going to malls, movies. In fact, you can see in social media, people flocking to the beaches and there was a time that my friend said that going to the buffet was already as if it was during the pre-pandemic days. All of these activities are now ongoing, mainly because these are the activities that we had put off for such a long time during this pandemic. And these activities leave us unguarded since we have to remove our mask to eat with other guests involved. So these unmasked activities put us at increased risk of getting infected with COVID-19. Plus, remember, as cases increase, there are more interaction with cases with the virus around, so we're likely, more likely, to be exposed. So one of the major concerns among Filipinos surrounds the efficacy of Sinovac because that has already been used to inoculate millions of Filipinos in our country. In fact, I am one of those who have been vaccinated with Sinovac. You may have heard of several news reports about the apparent vaccine failure of Sinovac, both in Indonesia and Thailand. And this news made some of my friends and patients to question whether the vaccine that they got is worth the job in protecting them against COVID-19 infection. So I'll use this time in my video to closely answer some of the very important questions by looking at the data and analyze information from several news reports. But first, the good news. The result of finally the phase three clinical trial, which is one of the different trials that we trust as clinicians, to really determine whether a drug or a vaccine is really efficacious, came out recently in a peer-reviewed international journal called Lancet, looking at 
Sinovac experience in Turkey. Of 10,000 volunteer patients between 18 to 59 were involved in the clinical trial. The data revealed that the vaccine has an efficacy of as much as 83.5% with two doses administered 14 days apart with no serious adverse effects and with no death. This clearly shows that Sinovac is safe and effective vaccine specifically against the original variant or the alpha variant, which was the variant in circulation in Turkey during that time. However, I also have received many comments from individuals concerned about the experience in Indonesia, which has shown that in newspaper reports, the true enough Sinovac is ineffective. Again, this is a hype against Sinovac showing certain news articles trying to put Sinovac in a bad light. But let's look at the data of what we have. There are actually two data that came out from Indonesia. First, the real-world data that monitored 128,000 vaccinated healthcare workers between January and March. The study found that vaccine was very effective. In fact, it was very protective because it was 94% effective in preventing infection. More so, it was 96% effective at preventing hospitalization from the original variant of SARS-CoV-2. But recently, the news report about the Indonesian city of Kudus that have worried Filipinos, including myself, because the news showed that 350 healthcare workers were infected with COVID-19 in spite of being inoculated with Sinovac. So the newspaper came out in a bad light against Sinovac as not an effective vaccine. But again, the numbers say otherwise. Because first of all, based on the news reports, there appears to be around 5,000 healthcare workers in Kudus that were vaccinated with Sinovac. So if only 350 of these 5,000 healthcare workers got infected, so there were 4,650 healthcare workers that did not get the infection with the Delta variant, which means this translates to a 93% protection rate. Remember, most healthcare workers, especially in Indonesia, which was getting the surge of the Delta variant, should have been exposed treating patients with a Delta surge. Theoretically, therefore, we can extrapolate from the data that the protection of a typical Filipino who is out of a hospital setting would be at least as good as the kudos data, which is 93% protection, if not higher. So this is for me good news. But again, if you say 93 protection with Sinovac against Delta variant, it is not news. But if you say 350 Kudos healthcare workers got infected in spite of Sinovac, it's a big news. Now let's look at the data from Thailand. The Thai government recently authorized the mixing and matching of uh, Sinovac and AstraZeneca because of concern that the Chinese vaccine was pretty ineffective. But let us look at the numbers from the Thailand Ministry of Health. It puts that around 677,348 medical personnel in Thailand were vaccinated with Sinovac between April and June 10 of this year. And of these total vaccinated healthcare workers, only 618 eventually tested positive for COVID-19 and 597 of these 618 who were infected either had no symptoms or only had mild form of COVID-19 infection. So if you look at the phase value of this report, this number suggests that Sinovac offers a very good level of protection of at least 99%, since only 620 or so of about 680,000 became infected with COVID-19. Moreover, of the Thailand data, 97% of those infected were asymptomatic or hard mild disease. So for me, these numbers really are reassuring enough. 
So these numbers tell us that Sinovac is indeed very effective at protecting against severe disease, hospitalizations, and death. And in, since these are the numbers reported for healthcare workers who are exposed to a significant high level of a risk, we could expect, therefore, an equivalent protection or better for our ordinary citizens who have been inoculated with Sinovac in the Philippines. So how about our own local data and experience with Sinovac with regard to its protection against Delta variant? Recently in the Rappler report, there was a mention of a hospital in NCR which has vaccinated 1,653 of their Filipino healthcare personnel with Sinovac between March 10 and early July of 2021. And of these total healthcare workers, only 80 eventually tested positive for COVID-19, and of this, 41 were symptomatic. So clearly, our local data from NCR revealed that Sinovac protects 93% of those vaccinated healthcare workers in hospital setting, and all those who experienced breakthrough infections were either asymptomatic or had mild symptoms. Furthermore, recently in his Twitter, Dr. Jonas Del Rosario from the Philippine General Hospital, which is one of the largest government hospitals in our country, showed that vaccinations helped prevent their healthcare workers from getting infected. And of note that the data from PGH were healthcare workers who were vaccinated with either Sinovac or AstraZeneca. So they reported that the proportion of COVID-19 infection in the fully vaccinated group was only 23 out of 6,052, showing that the vaccine effective, although they may not be 100% from preventing infection. More importantly, they noted it protected the healthcare workers from having severe COVID-19 and are dying from the disease. And that comparing the number of infections in 2020 without the vaccines and 2021, AstraZeneca, as well as the Sinovac, which was most commonly the vaccines that were inoculated among healthcare workers in our country in May and June, one therefore can conclude that the vaccine worked. Clearly, therefore, from reports in Indonesia, Thailand, and our own local data, I hope you are reassured that these numbers really show that Sinovac is a safe and effective vaccine against severe disease and hospitalization for COVID-19, including the Delta variant. So to summarize a very common question I always get now with the Delta surge is that, are they protected enough? Can they be reassured that they got Sinovac vaccine, that they are protected against the Delta variant? Well, from what we have and from what we see from all the data I presented so far, I can reassure you that yes, Sinovac has indeed a good protection against the Delta variant. And therefore, Filipinos who have been vaccinated against COVID-19 with Sinovac job like myself should rest assured that they are definitely protected against serious disease, hospitalization, and death. Again, we will continue to be at risk of getting COVID-19 in spite of our being vaccinated because again, the vaccine is not 100% foolproof against the disease. But the numbers, including the numbers from the Philippines, suggest that the risk for severe illness and death has been dramatically mitigated by the vaccine. But it is our appeal that because of this Delta surge, please continue to mask yourself, social distance, in spite of the fact that you've been fully vaccinated. So it is our hope that in the future, that in the long game with the virus, is that our bodies will eventually become so used to it and warding it off that over time it becomes little more than a noise. And therefore, with each exposure to the virus in our body, our bodies get retrained to fight it. So eventually SARS-CoV-2, who will likely join the ranks of other common respiratory viruses that cause occasional colds and sniffles, and that they will become part of our daily routine life. Again, 
I'm Dr. Jerry Tan. I hope you have learned something and I hope you've been reassured. See you again soon.